Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 22nd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are getting really, really close to the top of this range. So that means that we are ready to basically for a pullback here. And the pullback will be most likely towards the 20 exponential moving average. And you could take roughly 3,770 or 3,800. That's where you'll see buyers come back in and buy this back up. So the reason why I say that is also because we are getting close to the the top of the Bollinger Band here. So we are getting very uh, stretched. So we had a really nice run here. And um, yes, so that is what we are waiting for. I don't like shorting indices. I wait for the pullbacks and then buy, buy the pullbacks. If we were to break through this channel here, then we're going significantly higher, all the way up to 4,000. But at the moment, I think that we're going to see a, a fairly uh, minor pullback towards the lower part of the line or roughly at 3,800, 3,750 or something. It's like give or take around that area. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is very bullish. The RSI is becoming flat. We are at 67. So there's still room to the upside. It's not extremely high, but uh, we could see a push towards the high here tomorrow toward 3,900. And then we could see uh, this collapse to the downside. CCI is um, is flat, the stochastic is bullish, so we'll see basically what tomorrow. No interest of basically buying at this level because it's just too risky. So let's look at the Dow Jones. We can see that we have pierced the previous highs here. We are trading at the moment at the 31,211. There is fairly a lot of room to the upside still. We're only at 67. Usually you can get all the way up to 80. Uh, there's a lot of room here also in the Bollinger Band. So we could get to 31,500 before we pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average. But that is what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for a pullback towards 30,740 uh, or uh, 30,800, give or take. That's where I think most buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside. So no one's just basically buying this or selling this at the moment. It's just a waiting game, just as the S&P 500 Dow Jones is just uh, not um, not a trade that I'm going into at the moment because it's uh, just in the middle of nowhere. So if you look at other technical indicators, indicators uh, MACD is flat, the uh, RSI is flat, the CCI is flat, the stochastic is very bullish, and we have some room here to the upside in the in the bullish band, we could go all the way up to 31,500 before we break down. That is possible, but I would rather wait for the pullback. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So tech stocks have been absolutely soaring the last few days, and so has the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we are significantly overstretched here. Actually, I expected a pullback today, but uh, we are apparently going to test the top of this um, this uh, trend line here. I've I have zero hopes that we are going to break through that. So it may well be that we'll get to thirty thousand five hundred and then just tumble. If you look at the Bollinger Band here, we are significantly outside of uh, the of the Bollinger Band, and we are just waiting for a major pullback towards the twenty exponential moving average which at the moment is right here. That is at 12,900. That is where I think we are going to uh, um, head to at least next week. Probably not on Friday. We'll probably uh, just try to get towards 30,000, uh, 13,500. Um, and then on Monday, we'll probably tumble. So some kind of bad news whatsoever. It will just make this market just go the other way. And so, so look at the headlines. And if you're holding this at this moment for a for a buy, it's probably a good idea to to consider that we are significantly overstretched at this point. So, bottom range here. 
that is where we're heading next. So last time we were outside of the Bollinger Band, we fell roughly, roughly 2.7%. And that is what we are looking at right now as well. Uh, from here to that point, that is more than that. That's 4.3%. That's what I expect the NASDAQ to fall the next few days. So you look at some of these tech stocks. They are the ones that are basically pushing this market significantly higher. So we have Apple. Apple was up more than 3% yesterday. It's up more than 3% today. So we have been rallying significantly from these lows to, uh, to where we are at this point. We were up more than 7.78%. So the target here is 138. And after that, we are most likely going to drop. I think that we are actually going to see this market drop before that, probably. We did rally significantly above the uh, Bollinger Band last time, but we are on the edge of the Bollinger Band right now. So, so we could go a little bit higher, probably to the previous highs here, make a double top, and then head back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band at roughly $130, uh, give or take. But still, this is not a trade that I'm going into at the moment because this is just too overstretched. Um, if you want to enter, enter this trade, you should have entered it here and not here. So let's look at Amazon. So Amazon has rallied all the way up towards this previous highs here. So you can see we're basically making a double top here. And uh, at this point, I think that we're going to see uh, Amazon pull back towards at least the 100 moving average here. Um, if we pull back quite significantly here. And usually if you get a red candlestick here um, tomorrow, that means that we are going definitely towards the 100 at least. And that is to 3,189. Technical indicators are looking very bullish for this stock. There's a lot of room to the upside here in the RSI, but we are piercing the top of the Bollinger Band, and usually that is a sign that we are just getting way, way over our heads. So a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, and if you pull back there and then start rallying, then we could see this um, this stock change direction to the to the upside but if you fall all the way down towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band then we'll just stay in this basically well we're training just sideways um, and that will just continue so but at this point we are, have probably reached the maximum for now and now we're going back down so let's look at Microsoft Microsoft has also nearly reached its um, it is um, it, uh, its target. So the target here is these previous highs, and that's also going to be the top of the Bollinger Band. We are still, we are not overbought whatsoever. Other technical indicators are very bullish, but we're going to see the stock uh, turn around when we get to this point. So yes, we're just seeing more of the same. Up towards this level, breakdown, up towards the level, breakdown. If we manage to break through this level, then we'll probably go a little bit higher, probably to these highs. But that also means that we're going to go significantly outside of the Bollinger Band, and the drop to the downside will therefore also be significantly uh, much higher, uh, larger. So the last time we were outside sub substantially was here. This was back in, in November, and then we fell actually roughly 10.6%. So, yes. Be aware if you go outside of this um, this Bollinger Band, it can drop significantly. The same goes for here. It's a drop of 6.57%. Uh, so let's look at Facebook. So Facebook has rallied all the way up towards uh, the 50 moving average. We stopped our trade here uh, a little bit early, but uh, this was a very, very good trade. Uh, we started with enter it, entered the market here, rather when we found uh, support. And we stopped our trade right here. So the reason why we stopped is because we are running into resistance here at the 15 moving average. And uh, yes, if it turns significantly down to the downside, we're expecting the Nasdaq and all the other tech stocks to pull back at the, at this point because they're very overstretched. And usually uh, that has an effect also on the other in this, uh, other other stocks. So we may see 
Facebook pulled back towards that 100 and, uh, 150 moving average, roughly uh, 263. If it found so find support there, and that means that we are most likely going to test the 50 moving average again. And if that breaks, then we're going higher. Then we'll go to these previous highs at 100, 291, and then these highs of 298, and probably to the all-time highs here of 307. But uh, we'll see. A trade um, break above the 50 moving average and starting trading above there, that is a very bullish sign. So there's a lot of room to the upside in the RSI. There's, a, there's also plenty of room here in the MACD. It's just this moving average here that I think is going to and pull this back a little bit otherwise this was a very good trade so let's look at tesla tesla has a uh, pullback roughly 0.6 percent today we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average usually what happens here when it goes sideways and nothing really happens here we'll um we'll touch the 20 exponential at some point here so this will go this way, this will go this way, they will interact, and then we'll go shooting to the upside. So 900 is definitely our next target, and probably also 1,000. Technical indicators for Tesla stock are still, if you look at, they're still bullish, but we are significantly overbought. And there's not a lot of room here to the upside in the, in the, in the, in the Bollinger Band. So a pullback towards the 20, probably 40 that will be probably the best thing for the stock because then you could definitely buy into this without being thinking about it being significantly overbought so no one just basically shorting this don't short tesla stock whatsoever um but getting as cheap as possible that is the, the idea so let's look at google so google has run into major resistance so we're significantly outside here in the Bollinger Band. So we're mostly going to drop from the top here to the middle of the Bollinger Band. That's roughly 8.6%. That's where uh, I think that we're going to see Google drop the next few trading days. We are getting significantly overstretched, overbought. Technically, otherwise are very bullish, like the Stochastic, MACD, the CCI. So... This was a massive move to the upside, but we got way up ahead of ourselves. And this is going to drop at least towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. And that is a drop of roughly 8.5%. So let's look at Netflix. Netflix is also significantly overbought. So they had some very, very good uh, uh, data being released yesterday. And that's why we saw it basically move from uh, $503 all the way up to $594. And that's a, it was went up roughly 18.24%. Uh, Today, we have been hanging around there. Amazingly, I thought we were going to drop significantly lower, but this is a very bullish shine. However, I think that we need to pull back towards, gradually towards the 20 exponential. So you're going to see this drop at least to these previous highs so around 6.2 percent give or take the 20 exponential will move this way and these highs will most likely be uh, supportive so we are way outside of the bollinger band here we are on the edge of being overbought so we expect this to pull back so to buy it here that is not a good idea so Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.